Love, love, love kids. The future is here. You in Radio Emotes. Well, there is a celebrity hotline thing happening, and I wonder, I wa 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 wonder, if I potted it up, would we hear the voice of somebody on the celebrity hotline? Celebrity hotline, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm right here. Hey, um. Yeah. Hang on for one second as I pot you up, Lucas Prada. Hey, better late than never. You know what? Um, and I told Ruben, I said, if you're taking care of some personal stuff, it it, it sounded like. You were, you were dealing with some things that maybe we shouldn't be um, toe-stepping on. No, not at all. I, I just had to get some stuff out of the way, but I'm, I'm back and I'm all good to go. Well, on the Celebrity Hotline, everybody, is Lucas Prada sitting ovation. Yay! Yeah! yeah. Oh, man. Um, there's two teenagers in studio. You're on the Celebrity Hotline. I'm behind the microphone. Okay. I'm picturing it. When last, <laughs> when last we spoke... Don't you, date me now. You were a member... Of the Loose Touch Dancers. Yes, sir. But not only were you a member of the Loose Touch Dancers at the time, you also were performing on your own under another name, which we will not discuss. Okay. And I, and I want to and I want to believe that it was the Odium Stadium, one of those old freestyle shows, but I can't really recall to tell you the truth. Yeah, it was. It was definitely. Uh, I believe it was the Odium. But I mean, yeah. but I remember yeah, meeting you, hanging out with Kenny and George. And uh, who would have yeah. thunk? Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? Uh, we don't want to say how many years ago that was, but, you know, just a lot of persistence, my man. It, w- it was a while ago, and, and it was way before I was ever jealous of, of you and Nicole of, of the P-Dolls. <laughs> he doesn't want to say the name. He's so jealous of you. He's been talking about it all day. Well, if, if you go to Luke, Lucas's MySpace page, right. the real Lucas Prada underscore... There he is with Nicole, and you knew her back when she was just in Eden's crush. Yes. And now you're big. And a little bit earlier, we heard music from you and Reyna, who was another dance music artist. Um, Billboard is being real nice to that that track. Uh, yes, of course. It's still low. It was top ten in America and uh, dance radio. So it's, that record's just starting out. So there's definitely a lot of life left for it. So how are you besides on um, the personal things that you were taking care of earlier? Uh, everything's good, man. I, I just uh, recently, you know, as she said, was added to the biggest station in the country here in New York. And uh, it's taking a life of its own. Once again, it's, it's been about a year since the record was released. And it went number one at Dance Radio for four weeks. And now Top 40 Radio is, is playing the record. So it's somehow becoming a brand new record all over again. And hopefully we can get it to spread around the country. Well, I know besides so, us over here at Club Kids, we've been playing it. But um, I played it last week for one of the other Club Kids as we were promoting the interview. And she swore that she didn't know who Lucas Prada was. So I play the song. And she says, wait a minute. I know this song. Kiss FM is playing it. Well, it's Lucas Prada. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, it's, um, it's one of those things that, you know, I always believed the record had a lot of life. And that it was not done to just dance radio. So uh, I just persisted to everyone in all of radio to just keep on trying to get this record played and, and let the audience decide. And, and I think uh, sure enough, three weeks ago, I was down in Miami at the Winter Music Conference, and uh, the record was, was put into rotation at C100 in New York. And, and I think the La Calle franchise is also playing it a lot, too, now that you've done a reggaeton version. Yes, yes. I also heard that the reggaeton version, I believe, is number one in Mexico City, so... There's a lot going on with the record and with, about, with different remixes and stuff, but, you know, I, I'm still pushing the Reina duet, but uh, right now I think the focus has been uh, shifted once again to And She Said, and it's getting a lot of love, uh, you know, so we're hoping that it starts to spread like it is right now. You know, it's funny because now all of a sudden you got to juggle things. I know in the music business they like to do things a little methodically, one at a time, one at a time, and I'm fairly certain that when the new album dropped, like, like young people say, that they already had a plan in place in terms of taking off with the Reina Lucas thing because, yeah, as she said, had already done its thing. Pretty much, yeah. But like I said before, I, I always knew in the back of my mind that, as she said, has a life of its own that no one's even seen yet. And uh, it's, it's one of these records that I know people with, um, they come to me or write emails with children who can't even walk at that point, and they're singing this, this thing in the lyrics that she said. They're too young to walk, but they're, 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 they can sing my song. So it's, it's children of all ages, adults, everybody seems to have this uh, infection thing going on with my record. So I think it's going to, I think it's this year, a lot of people are going to be hearing 
then she said again, so. That's crazy. Can you, can you give me in a, in a brief a minute or so before I let the kids take over a kind of a synopsis of, of what you've been up to since the days long ago that we met back, 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 back in the bed of the heart days to this point now in 2006. You're, you're not a rookie at this. No, I think that's what's helped me get through all of this and get to the point of where I'm at right now is really seasoning of all these years of, of, of working in the business. I, I've always held a day job uh, working in the record business, whether it be for a, re a record label or a promotion company, which I've always stayed in, in, in touch with what goes on behind the scenes as well. So since I've met you back in the day, I've always maintained uh, some sort of involvement in the music business so that I would always be on top of things and God forbid my dream didn't come true, I would always have something to fall back on and be involved in the record business in one way or another. So, but as an artist, it's really helped me, you know, know what's, what's real and what's not real and, um, and, and be around writers and producers and, and be able to work with the best. And it's just, you know, it takes time and it's one of those things that you have to put in your, your, your dues. And for those people who think they could just get involved and make it happen, it's, it's very rare. And if it does happen, it's probably only going to happen for a quick minute. So I've, I've basically been, been uh, just, uh, I'd have to say, marinating in the industry all these years. Well, somebody smarter than me once said that uh, overnight success, not so much an overnight success. No, and it's funny because a lot of people say, you know, Luke is proud of the overnight success. And it's, you know, it's in a way flattering, but at the, at the same time, you know, I know in my mind how many years I've put into it and uh, the sacrifices that I've made, you know, from whether it's graduating from, high, uh, from, from college and having a four-year degree and, and knowing that this is really, I want to be an artist and I want to continue to, to write and, and be involved with the music industry. And, you know, whether you're sacrificing your education or relationships or whatever it is that, that, you, that you love to do to be able to pursue this career because it is a full-time job well let me go ahead and play your cut for the for the kids so they can um, get a little familiar with it if they haven't heard it already okay then we can come back and and um, finish off the conversation with questions from the club kids at 540 my time 640 yours i know you got things going on i know yeah. you're in recovery from the knicks not doing so well but the bulls yeah. <laughs> give us a minute okay you got it just can't wait to get to you tonight Thought of what we did last night It's got me crazy Now I can't think of anything but you You kind of know that song, don't you? There's a song you might be familiar with. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Lucas Prada music, and she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Club Kids, I'm going to give you about two or three minutes to speak with Lucas Prada, then we have to take a 90-second break, and then we wrap it up in the back of your heads. And she said...
by Lucas Prada. That's a killer cut, you know. Thank you, man. But, but it's older than what I thought, I guess. Yeah, well, like I said, I, we released it in, in, I think, February of last year uh, to Dance Radio, but it's brand new for the rest of the country. And I'll, I'll tell you uh, about another song that I heard um, just yesterday, but I'll leave that as part of the secret conversation that we're going to have after the Club Kids. Club Kids, Kimberlyn, Club Kid, Marilu, Celebrity Hotline. That's Lucas Prada. Say yo. What's up? Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? We're good. We're good. It's the next generation. It's a 17-year-old and a 12-year-old. Oh, wow. Okay. Com combined, they're not as old as I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying a lot. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you like the song? Well, personally, I think it's hot. I like the beat, especially the reggaeton version that we were listening to earlier. I like the beat. It's really hot. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> really yeah. just for you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was wondering how the video was. Javi said it was look caliente. I was like, oh. Well, she, she said, I wonder about the video. And I said, um, the video is uh, kind of hot. Yeah, it's... Uh, something that I put together myself actually is is this not the video that you guys are like rolling around on the beach and stuff well we're not rolling around on the beach but we are on the beach <laughs> pretty <laughs> okay maybe not rolling no, around that, but that was that was the hotel room they were, <laughs> they were saying hello and you can tell that they were close with each other yeah something like that oh okay I had an opportunity to be involved with, with the, the whole production of the video and the whole storyline, so I wanted to make sure that it would be fun yet, yet um, eye-catching. How's that? It was to me, and that's why I kind of was telling Kimberly, maybe you don't want to watch this one right now. I want to yeah. see it. But, I mean, you can see it online. You can, you can see, see it on, uh, on my MySpace page, and you can also see it on my website as well. And, and I believe that the, the CD, the full-length CD, is an enhanced CD, so you can actually, I think there's a video contained on the album, if I'm right. The, yeah, the video is also on the album, but you have to have quick time on your computer to watch it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's really easy to install, but yeah, it's also on there as well. There you go. Well, What's the name of the video? And she the said? The video is the same song, it's called And She Said. And she said, oh, okay. And the album is Let's Get It On. And in Spanish, it's E.D. says. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's got a Spanish version. The album is called Let's Get It On. Um, I found my copy at Virgin Records. And he's busting out like Superman. Yeah. That is a, um, the meaning behind that is, is dance music has been suffering for, for quite a few years right now. And I, I remember the days when it was strong and, and freestyle was pop music. And... My whole mission is to get dance music back to the mainstream, to the masses, to the people across the country, and that's me coming out of a phone booth to save dance music. Hey, can we come back in 90 seconds? You got it. Let's do that. I'm Deborah Bird. And I'm Joel Block for Earth and Sky, Sunday, April 23rd. Before sunrise tomorrow, the waning crescent moon and brilliant planet Venus pair up in the east before dawn. They'll be visible for...